Hello, this is Dorothy Smith, your Close to My Heart representative, independent consultant. And uh, the last video I did, I put together the Something Magical Papers. And uh, I had a friend say, Dorothy, you didn't color the monkey. So I'm back to color, color the monkey. And I'm going to use um, our watercolor pencils for right now. Now, granted, this is much easier to do when you haven't stuck it on the front of the card. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how the after afterthought is um, easy to to it's easy to make it happen. So I'm going to go ahead and color the monkey. And what I'm going to do is use our blending pencil uh, to smooth out the color. And so it doesn't have to be perfect. Color his little tummy here and his little hand. And this little cute little guy came from a group of stamps called Punny Pals. And Punny Pals is uh, one of our. Okay, that's good enough. Now, you, if you can tell. It doesn't, it doesn't look, oh, let's see. It doesn't look great, but when I take my blending pen, I'm just gonna smooth out the color. like that. Now one other thing I didn't do was I didn't use um, the archival black ink to stamp him. So it's a water base. This is a water base ink. Oh, I didn't color his little leg. And so it's um, running just a tad. Anyway, the blending pen smooths out the color. Now, uh, Close to My Heart is coming up with a new um, group of colors uh, for our pencils. They haven't changed the colors in quite some time. And so they're going to come up with a whole new group of... So there's my monkey. Ta-da! Now I'm just going to set him aside. So they're coming up with a whole new group of colors. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to be coming out, but I really love these pencils. Now this is the stamp that I was telling you about, and it is called Punny Pals. Um, and it goes, it's an Operation Smile stamp, which means that seven dollars of the total purchase of the stamp goes directly to operation smile to fix children uh do some fairly well i don't yet yeah, don't ever say that surgery is simple but they're doing surgeries on children in central america to fix cleft palates and they they completely make a change in these children's and parents lives um, so anyway, this is the group of the Punny Pals, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, use my, my cuddle bug. And I'm just going to cut one of each on one one sheet of paper and then stamp them of course i can't get it out of here so let me just put them all get them out of here okay so you're going to put them so that it's the sharp edge the little raised edge is down facing down 
and I'm just going to line them up here. Doesn't matter which, whether they were whoppy jawed or whatever. Okay, and then I'm gonna load them on. And then move the camera up a little bit. I think I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm working against myself, I'm working backwards. Okay, all the cracking and noises, that's typical. So I used, put my little cutter away. I used an A plate, A plate, a B plate, and a C plate for the thin cuts. And so they punch out just perfectly. So easy and neat and you can do so many of them at one time. Beautiful. Okay, put all my thin cuts over here. And now I'm going to stamp whoop he went flying away okay so I'm gonna have to match up who goes with which stamp so we need big side ears here which is the monkey I do believe And you also have to have the paper facing in the right direction. Yeah, so he goes there. And this looks like it could be a frog. Well, that's the little frog. The bunny. Okay, this is well, it's not the owl. Where's the owl? Now going to go there. And the little tiger is, he goes there. God, these things are so cute. Kitty. Koala bear. Nope. That way.
Well, these are harder to put match up. Okay, I can do the lion. Here's the lion. And little bear. And I'm I am using my um, archival ink on these so I can I can color them and I'm just going to use these as um, a little sentiment to go on some cute little cards and they should bring a smile to to anyone who sees it and so if you have any young people in your family or older people or it doesn't even have to be in your family um, that are kind of shut-ins and don't get out get to see many people maybe you could send them a little card and bring a little smile to their face Lord knows we all need a little smile to the face <clears throat> so I've got my archival black ink and I am just going to uh, get my stamp wet. And do the little koala. So that's how he comes out. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do... Well, you know, I may wash these, wipe them off in between. The little bunny would be adorable for Easter cards. And there's the bunny. And what's nice is these lines on these little punny pals come out so crisp. Oh my goodness, aren't you cute? Oh, and he even has a little bow tie on. He's like the cutest little thing ever. Frogs have always been one of my favorite critters. I spent many hours down by the creek in the back of our house catching pollywogs and catching frogs. Monkey again. Oops, I did that wrong. I did the wrong side. That was silly. means the paper probably needs to get flipped over. Oh, we'll see. Let me just ink them up. Oh, that's a puppy dog with a bone. I just gave both of my dogs baths today. They spent the rest of the afternoon sleeping. But boy, do they smell better. And it's nice that there's little, you know, cute little sayings that go with each one of these guys. Sometimes there's two uh, for one that, um,
you know, just a little pun to uh, make you laugh or groan. There's a cute little pig with his little curly tail. My goodness. for two. He's sweet. Sweetest little feet. about that. That was my husband calling. Um, okay, so where do I leave off? Here we got Kitty. It's really cute. Anyway, these, I think these little punny pals can be very handy for kids' cards or, um, like I said, you know bringing a smile to somebody's face. Uh, and the good thing is, you know, $7 goes to this great charity. You know, and these doctors go down, and doctors and nurses go down and volunteer to take care of these little kids. And the parents bring them down out of the mountains. And sometimes these kids haven't haven't been seen by anybody in the villages. They may put, you know, a bag or a blanket or something over their faces so nobody sees them to make fun of them or uh, get scared or, you know, whatever it happens to be. And so, I mean, it's just very sad when you realize that, uh, you know, they, they couldn't have a life if it wasn't for these wonderful people um, giving their time to, to help these little kids out. So um, I am going to, I'm going to, while these are drying a little bit, I'm just going to put everybody back in their little place. And um, he's a little pig. Baby, where are you? There you are. So it's getting, it's right now it's in March and um, my daffodils are in bloom outside, which is like my favorite. And so it's kind of the hope Hope of spring is coming, coming upon us. Of course, up in the northeast where my sister lives, they're getting inundated with snow, so. Sorry if you're in the northeast, but it won't be long before spring comes your way also. And okay, monkey and frog. So everybody's back in their place and I'm just going to take um, take my pencils and see what I can do. 
So of course pink jumps right out at me first, so I'm going to go for the pink nose of the pig, and I might color him like a gray. I don't know what color pigs are, what color? They're usually kind of flesh color, actually. Hmm. They can be any color we want them to be. So pink and gray is pretty together. And I think I will make her bow pink. And once again, I'm going to um, use my blending pen. to smooth out the color. God, somebody's cutting something out there. I'm doing a high-pitched hum. I don't know what that is. Okay, so that's that's about as simple as it goes. So there's my little piggy, little pink and gray. I think I'll move this down a little bit because you can't really see from all the way up there. <clears throat> You just have to pay attention to where I am on the camera. Okay, I've done a monkey. I think I'll do the lion. So I'm going to It's a good thing there's a blending pen because holy moly my coloring is uh Let's see, is this the color? Oh yeah, that's a nice color main. And you can actually, I wouldn't want to do it with the uh, animal's fur, but um, I guess you could. But you can blend the two colors together. So, um, I'm just smoothing out the colors here. So cute. And I probably won't do all the little critters. I mean, you'll get, um, got to do the bunny. With a little orange carrot. green I'll leave it 
this little tummy white. I just made him real pale. Come here, Benny. Picking up some color from, from the lion, which is okay because bunnies are kind of, in our backyard, they're kind of brownish and grayish. So anyway, you get the idea that um, we have these adorable little punny pals, great for use. You know, you could use them on scrapbook pages too, but um, they're really cute for little cards. Uh, and if you want to kind of teach your kid to send out cards to their friends or to their uh, grandma and grandpa. Um, the puns would be a perfect little thing to come from a child. Color in this little froggy. And I'll put a he's sitting on a lily pad, so there's the flower. Make the lily pad. Whoops. Oh, I need to sharpen this pencil. Light green lily pad. Maybe I'll make his little bow tie to match. That's a tiny little bow tie in there. Or her bow tie. Anyway, there's the little monkey. I mean the little froggy. Oop, kind of out of focus. Okay, well I'm going to finish these up. So I just wanted to show you that I finished coloring my monkey card and I'm finishing up my, my punny pals. Anyway, they're a wonderful little stamp and uh, the thin cut that comes with it that makes the cutting out so easy and so fast. Um, so anyway, this is Dorothy Smith and uh, below the video, they'll, I'll make some links on where you can get the punny pal stamp and the thin cuts. Um, and uh, once again, I'm with Close to My Heart, and it's my website uh, is dorothy.ctmh.com. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog at dotscrapbooking.com.